Welcome to Merton for our journey through Lent. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our reading this Sunday from the Gospel of Mark. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. And he called the crowd to him, along with his disciples, and said, Whoever wants to be my disciples must deny themselves must take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. The Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen.
As we think about Jesus telling his disciples that he would go to his death, we reflect upon these words written by Matt Redman to the tune that we are hearing. Jesus Christ, I think upon your sacrifice. You became nothing, poured out to death. Many times I've wondered at your gift of life, and I am in that place once again. And once again I look upon the cross where you died. I'm humbled by your mercy and I'm broken inside. Once again I thank you. Once again I pour out my life. Now you are exalted to the highest place. King of the heavens where one day I'll bow. But for now I'll marvel at this saving grace and I am full of praise once again. Once again I look upon the cross where you died. I'm humbled by your mercy and I'm broken inside. Once again I thank you. Once again I pour out my life. Heavenly Father accept our lives as an offering poured out to you as you have poured out your life for us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 